Got a really quick update regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards. Unfortunately, YouTube was totally broken this morning and nobody could upload to the actual platform unless they ended up uploading like an unlisted video yesterday and published it public today. However, it's just a really quick update on the RTX 50 series launching and being pushed back into early 2025. This was something that a lot of people were talking about a couple of weeks ago just because of Samsung not releasing their GDDR7 on time. This isn't really something that Nvidia was choosing to do, understandably so. Releasing your graphics card after the holiday season is kind of a stupid move, but it's not like they have a choice. I did have a video regarding the uh, price of the uh, AMD Ryzen 9000 series of CPUs, but I'm not going to have time to edit that and upload it because I didn't even bother starting to edit it because YouTube was like broken. <laughs> Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. I'm going to read this article because it's shorter. Shortly after Computex, journalists who attended the popular technology expo shared their insights from conversations with multiple board partners. However, unless they spoke with executives, this information is rarely accurate enough to provide a definite answer. Marketing personnel are usually less informed than engineering teams who only share details once the development stages are ended up completing. Nevertheless, by combining information from various sources, it has been determined that the AMD Radeon RX 8000 series powered by powered by RDNA 4 architecture and the Intel Arc B series powered by Battlemage XE2 HPG are definitely not going to be coming this year. Furthermore, it is clear that Nvidia is not rushing to launch the RTX 50 series, although the timing of the announcement does remain uncertain. I, that Okay, so I honestly thought that this was going to be about the GDDR7 was Samsung. Some of the rumors suggest that Nvidia might announce the RTX 50 series by the end of this year with the actual launch potentially happening in 2025. This would be consistent with Nvidia's strategy of separating announcements from product releases through multiple embargoes, including details on specifications, pricing disclosures, unboxings, reviews, and the final launch. According to Copite 7 Kimi, Nvidia is not expected to unveil the new Blackwell gaming GPUs before CES, which is going to be taking place on January 7th to January 10th, 2025. While CES is typically associated with laptop updates and not new desktop GPUs, Nvidia might break free from this tradition this time. Historically, discrete desktop RTX. All right, so we were, we pretty much went over all of this stuff. Now I do want to say something really quickly here because I'm into the e-com business myself. I sell stuff online, do the Shopify stuff, the drop shipping, like, I, like the white labeling. I get how all of this stuff works. And there's something that I need to make clear, at least from my perspective on what I do. Because for those of you that are unaware, there's actually, there's a perfect timing to explain this. Like Prime Day just barely took place a few days ago. And the reason that I am bringing that up is because the reason that, um, Amazon holds Prime Day in the middle of the year is because that is the slowest time of the year when it comes down to sales, e-com sales, and just sales online in general. So if any of you are like getting, I got like Joe Biden mouth right now. If anybody is getting into, <laughs> if, if anybody is uh, getting into e-com, like the, the middle of the year, the second and third quarter, is like the worst time to start any of this stuff the best time to do this is at the end of the year and the beginning of the year that is when most people are buying stuff and then because at the end of the year a lot of the old stuff ends up going on sale because the new stuff is about to be announced so i'm saying this because i don't think that nvidia is stupid enough to push it into the second quarter of 2025 so if they end up announcing this at ces of 2025 and uh when it when it says right here it says january 7th to january 10th of 2025 i am guessing that the graphics cards are going to end up releasing within a month after that announcement 
I can't see it like being pushed past that just due to how e-com works and whatever. Uh, but anyways, that's really all I need to say. I'm not going to make the video any longer than it needs to be. Uh, I really, uh, unfortunately, I did have a different video planned, but I can't, <laughs> I'm not editing that one down. So this is just a very like, to be honest, is pretty much how I make most of my videos. It's just, I'm not like talking and hanging out for another 10 minutes talking about gibberish and shows that I ended up watching. However, I did watch uh, this movie called 65 on Netflix last night. It was pretty cool. It's about this guy. I'll catch you guys in. <laughs> I almost did it. Peace.